All right, so today <clears throat> some people had seen some of these sitting in the floor and wanted a video on it. So these are two stroke uh, watercraft cylinders. And we got a local marina here that we uh, born home, just tons of these things for. So uh, they wanted to see how, how we do it and all that jazz. So uh, hang loose and we'll get into what all we do. All right, so normally the customer brings me a piston. Uh, we've done just, I don't know how many we've done. We've probably done a hundred of these things. And this brand piston, every single one of them that I've measured, measures the exact same size. So we bore them to a, a nominal size and then we finish on them just like everything else. But I, I've got a air-cooled boring table designed for cylinders, but I find it's just so much easier to do it over here. So we always just bore them here, and then I made a fixture to hold them in the cylinder hone, and then you know we hone them just like we hone everything else. So they come normally; they're not clean, so we'll wash them and get that these use uh, o-rings uh, for the head gasket and the water so we'll pull all the o-rings usually these old nasty gasket all over the bottom so andrew cleans all that stuff off we'll run them through the washer and uh just visually inspect them and it's amazing to me how many we find that have already been bored so now we measure all of them, but I've put them in there and, you know, centered it up and sent the boring bar off and it don't touch anything. And it was already, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 over. So now we make sure we inspect them. But Andrew has done board a handful. Uh, what we, the way this table works is, you know, it's got this two inch bar. And I mean, this comes in and out, but this whole system just lifts up and clamps it to the parallels. So what we do, um, we put the cylinder in upside down because we want the bore to be parallel to this surface because this is the surface that bolts to the block. So we put it in upside down and uh, you know, as cornbread as it may be, I use a uh, Amco brake lathe uh, hub and it just sits perfectly right on there and it's got room in the bottom for the boring bar to go through. And so, and I just use that as like a, a spacer to hold it up. And then we just take it and set it right on the two inch bar in between the parallels. And then we just let it up against the parallels. And you know, if you need to move it around a little bit or whatever to get it, you know, where you want it to be. And then, and then that's all there are to it. And then it's in position. And then, so I'm gonna let Andrew set it up uh, cause he's been boring them and I'm gonna let him do it and show you, show you what we, what we do. And we, you know, we, like I say, all the pistons measure good. And so we just do it, uh, we measure one piston, we set our our bore gauge and our uh, micrometer for the boring table and we just bore them all to that one nominal size. And these, you know, these things is ported, so one thing I've noticed, you gotta be careful with uh, if you're gonna take, you know, if you're taking a lot of material, because it'll it'll chatter like crazy down there in the in the area where it's where the ports are. So, you know, this is just a half a millimeter over, which is twenty thousandths. You know, it's not a problem. But we've had some we had to go a millimeter over, and uh, those will click and bang around a lot if you ain't careful. You know.
So he's setting the tool bit now to the to the right diameter. And then he bring the bit down where it's close. And then you hear it hit both sides so it's good and centered. That'll take care of the boring operation. And so he's going to go ahead and run through, I think he's eight or 10 of these things. He's going to go ahead and run through, get all the rest of them bored. And then when we get ready to set up on the cylinder home, uh, we'll bring you back and show you all that, how it goes. <clears throat> all right, so uh, I got this little fixture we made to hold these cylinders. It holds these and there's two or three different kind that, that it'll that it'll hold even the double ones. And so I got it all set up and we got the, the home head set up with the, the stroke and all fixed and the roughing stones in. So we're gonna get the hone in here. I think we had about four and a half or five thousand to go. So we're gonna let that cool off and we'll just double check it and make sure that, you know, it, it don't move. But uh, with the smaller cylinder, we can do two at a time, but these bigger cylinders, they, they almost touch. So I just do them one at a time. And then that fixture will do like these doubles. So we got these doubles we do also so that was originally what that fixture was designed for. And then we just went back and added more holes uh, to do these different uh, type single cylinder jobs. So, all right, hopefully uh, a bunch of people asked about them things because the, the, the marina that brings them, they bring us just buckets full of these things at a time. And a couple of people seen these stacked up in, in some other videos just sitting around so they, they asked would we do a video on it but uh but that's that and like i say we we do a, a fair amount of them but it's not something that you know 
we do on purpose. It's just, you know, they, they asked us would we do them, and so we, we accommodated them because we just do so many, so it makes it worth our time. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.